All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back here inside the beautiful uh, Rhino Sports Arena here in Foshan, China. Lao Chan Leung Kony and Johnson will be starting for the uh, Black Bears and for the uh, Pola RPG or Filipinas RPG, Doligon Menina, Anderson, Melton III, and George will be starting for the Pola Filipinas RPG. The officials, Zhang Deyang, Lin Wei Hao, and Zheng Ming. No Africa, my partner. My name is Sandy Grumo. And I will also be our courtside reporter here in Foshan, Guangdong, China for the inaugural season of the Asian Tournament. And uh, Filipinas controlling the tip. So let's see how the Pola Filipinas will be able to perform today. You know, they just came in this morning. So let's see if the Black Bears know this and take advantage of this. And you know, they are athletes, so they must be ready for anything that will happen to them as Shane Menina, the kid from uh, Talisa City, scoring the first field goal in this game. A very talented guard known to, for his scoring. Let's see if he becomes a primary playmaker for the Pola Filipinas RPG. Three if it goes in and it is not rebounded by George. That's Reginald George, the world import for uh, Pola Filipinas RPG. Menina, a good point guard. Gerald Anderson for three. Yes! Nice shot from Gerald Anderson from downtown. Well, Anderson known to be a very efficient uh, outside scorer. He can also put the ball on the floor and attack the basket. And adding to that, uh, Noe, you are a big fan of Gerald Anderson. <laughs> You've been watching him in his, uh, in his movies. Oh, the backdoor caught by Leong. Two points for him. He is an Asian import, according to you. Yeah, Jenning Leong is the team captain of the Black Bears uh, coming out of Canada. 5-2 to two is the count. Pola Filipinas RPG. Mark Duligon with a hesitation move. He goes inside. He kicks it out. Gerald Anderson throws the ball away. His first turnover of the game. And of course, for all of the teams, they're watching the Pola Filipinas RPG playing mainly because this is the only team that they haven't scouted yet. And uh, yeah. further down the road, this is a team that they could face. Leong outside. Trying to elude Gerald Anderson. Beautiful fake. Leaning shot towards inside. It did not go in. Now we go outside. Johnson using the window. Menina able to get to it. Into the hands of Gerald Anderson. Oh, what a move. Now he will try to score from the outside. He hits the back iron. And Leong the rebound. And uh, Let's see. Uh, we're waiting for Kone to start uh, becoming a factor. He did lead his team in scoring in their... Initial game, finishing with 25 points. And yes, uh, the player following him, uh, yeah, it's Coney getting the offensive rebound. Leong 4-3, bang! Looks like they're trying to set up Leong very early here in their first game, only finishing with nine points, uh, sorry, five points, but led the team in assists with six. Gerald Anderson, guarded by Leong. George. Hesitating, now he is wide open and he will score. Foul is called. Number 32? Is it 13 or 32? They're calling the foul on uh, Milton. Yeah, Milton. But uh, the basket will count for George. 7 to 5 is our score. Picked up by Gerald Anderson. Shane Menina. Nowhere to go. Taken away. Here is Coney. Mohamed Coney flies and dunks at home. Tie this ball game at 7 all. That's a quick transition from uh, defense to offense of the steal. Lau giving it to Coney for the highlight dunk. And James Melton is fouled. He will go to the free throw line. RPG or the Pola Filipinas RPG. Debuting, debuting here in the Asian Tournament. This will be their first game as we take a look at this foul committed by uh, the Black Bears. And of course, you do have Shane Menina there, but uh, Mark Doligon 
known to be you know do it all forward back in the Philippines so let's see uh, what role he plays here for Pola Pilipinas in the Asian tournament Melton gets the first from the line by the way we have uh, four games we are about to witness here today Johnson Lau there is Leong 4-3 incoming bang and Leong has just really come out firing here in the first quarter already with eight points and the bang is in the building <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> Gerald Gerald Anderson misses on the three I love the sound effects <laughs> Tony, oh, and Mark Doligon is uh, shaking his head. It's not me, but the referee says it's you. And it's going to be uh, quite a challenge here for Mark Doligon to try to keep in step with uh, Muhammad Kony as you Which can is see there. That three-pointer coming from Leong, that's already second in the game. So Leong is the top scorer here with eight points. Coney now with three points. He is from, uh, well, he started playing basketball in high school at the Apple Valley High School and attended the North Dakota School of Science and stayed for four years, Bemidji State. In Minnesota. Yeah. A Division II school there. Muhammad Coney, number three, uh, now with three points. Gerald. James Melton backs off. And the steal by Leong. Coney! Yes, sir! And that's already the second transition basket for Coney, always getting out in the break. And just like that, the Black Bears, they are ahead now 14 to 9 with 5.39 remaining. You're watching the Asian Tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching the Asian tournament here in Foshan, uh, Guangdong, China. Our second day here in China, Noi. And the uh, Black Bears ahead here. A six to nothing run by, by the uh, Black Bears. Here is Mark Deligon who will bring the ball down for, for the Filipinas RPG. One-handed shot. George getting the offensive rebound and draws the foul. Well, this is going to be a challenge for Chan and Johnson trying to keep these two guys, George and Milton, off the offensive glasses. Uh, they've been getting some offensive rebounds already early. Yeah, this guy is huge. One of the tallest imports here in the uh, Asian tournament, George Milton. Oh no, that's uh, Reginald George. <laughs> Although I don't think you can find a taller player here than uh, Sammy DeGuara yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> playing for the Mustang. Coney, he kicks it out. 4-3. Leong scores again. That is actually Ching, uh, Chon Pong Lau who did have yeah. four three-pointers yesterday. Lau with his first three-pointer. Let's take a look at this three by Lau. Wide open look, wide open three, unmolested and scoring there. And Lau scored 12 points and was four out of seven from downtown in yesterday's game versus Jumbo. Coney with a hesitation move. Lau again. Bang! 
Well, he just hit a three-pointer and it's quite surprising that he still gets another open look. And the Black Bears yesterday, 10 out of 29 from the three-point territory. They're shooting 34.5% from downtown versus Jumbo. So the lead is 10 points for the Black Bears. Inside we go to uh, George. The second field goal of the game. And uh, George just being uh, the post interior presence for the RPG. Chan. Oh, what a shot there by Chan. Despite the, the very good de defense right there for Milton, Chan just uh, continuing to be effective on the floor. Yesterday shot a very efficient six out of seven from the field. And he finished with 13 uh, points. The three underway. Now three-pointer coming from uh, JV De La Cruz. That's his first points coming off the bench. Leon gets by De La Cruz, fading away. What a move there by Leon. Uh, first player now in double digits is Leon after struggling yesterday now. Uh, Ready with 10 points. Well, Young yesterday scored 13. I made that three points and was one out of four from the field. And George unmolested inside. Right now, no, no answer as of yet for uh, George inside. Three minutes, 10 seconds remaining. Coney is free for three. Will not score. Picked up by James. Melton. Easy two for James. Now we go to uh, Andrea Veloso. Andrea, what do you have? We are not here for a vacation. We are here to work hard and represent well our country, the Philippines. These are the words of the Paula Pilipinas coming here in the Asian tournament. Even though they are exhausted from the flight, the, the Paula Pilipinas will still try their best to play great here in their first game. Head coach Jericho Welling mentioned that what keeps them going is their Filipino pride and of course their love for the game. They've been preparing for a month and they can say with confidence that they are ready to fight in each ball game. Back to you guys. Thank you very much, Andrea Viloso. By the way, this is the second team from the Philippines. The first, the Zamanga Valientes. Now we have the uh, Paula Pilipinas RPG, Noy. Yeah, that's right. And, you know, despite uh, coming in tired from a long trip, they're ready to play and so far trying to keep in step with the Black Bears. 24 to 19 with 2.24 remaining in the first quarter. Ball goes out of bounds. And it goes back to the... Uh, Black Bears who are ahead here in the first uh, period and I say it's because of their three-point shooting Yeah, so far especially the hot shooting of uh, Jennings Leung And uh, let's see what adjustments the RPG will be making Lao you we talk about hot shooting that will be the third from Lao From beyond the arc. So that's really it has been the Leung Lao uh, show so far 27-19 now, James Melton. De La Cruz, he swings it to the corner for three. Battle for the rebound, it goes out of bounds. Uh, well, right now, uh, Paula Pilipinas going to their bench. They have already Mecca, you've got Belenchon and uh, De La Cruz. Let's see if they can provide some quality minutes. Johnson, Leong, Johnson will not get the kind bounce, Mecca the rebound. It's still scoreless in this game is uh, D'Angelo Johnson, but they still do have the lead at eight points. Reginald George outside for two. That'll be his third field goal of the game. That's already nine points for Reginald George, showing that he can also hit those mid-range jumpers. Chong Kui with his first two points of the game. Well, he scored 23 uh, points yesterday. Make that 22 points yesterday and uh, shot 8 out of 16 from the field. And they were the dynamic duo yesterday with Coney. Oh, uh, JP Bill and Sean with a gorgeous move inside in heavy traffic. That was actually, yeah, that's JP Bill and Sean. Oh, ho -ho! With the explosion and going to the basket now with four. Right now he's just really leaving his defenders 
in the dust with that quick first step. And the steal by Johnson. Oh, Young misses on the layup. JP. Now look pass inside to Mecca. George. Oh. And George will go to the line. Draws the foul inside. Unable to score, but uh, you can see uh, once again Chonky just Chonky just leaving everybody <laughs> in the dust. You cannot try to reach in because he's definitely going to teach. Our score 31 to 23 with 9.4 remaining in the first third quarter. And thank you very much for watching the Asian tournament. We are live on YouTube. Five seconds. The drive. Oh, nice shot. And that's uh, Nesby. New uh, Tyrone Nesby, the fourth new player for, for the uh, Black Bears. A 10-point lead for the Black Bears, 33-23. to 23. You're watching the Asian Tournament here in Foshan, Guangdong, China. All right, thank you very much. Uh, we are back here inside the Rhino Sports Arena here in uh, Foshan, Guangdong, China for the Asian Tournament. Chong Kui misfires from the line of three, rebounded by George. De La Cruz brings it down. And the steal, Chong Kui, yes! Nice move by Chong Kui. Well, this is definitely going to be the advantage for the Black Bears. They're going to have a lot of legs, and uh, the, the more they push that basketball, uh, the harder it is for Pola Filipinas to so keep in step with them. And, you know, the uh, Black Bears yesterday, uh, 28 fast break points versus Jumbo. They defeated Jumbo yesterday, 94-83. De La Cruz from downtown. So that's already six points for De La Cruz. And they're going to need a lot of those uh, outside shots to fall in, especially with the dominant uh, George operating inside. And the uh, Black Bears with six bench points. Uh, Filipinas with five bench points. De La Cruz again for three. He will not get the kind bounce. Melton the rebound. Oh, hard foul given up. No, that's not Melton, but uh, Mark St. Fourth. All right. Also a world import. Let's take a look at this one. You can see another one of those world imports operating inside, getting those offensive rebounds. And that's going to be a problem here for the Black Bears because so far the Pola uh, Pilipinas world imports just dominating inside. We have two lead changes and uh, two deadlocks here. Biggest lead was a 10 points by the Black Bears. The uh, Pola Pilipinas RPG led by as many as five points. And uh, Mark St. Fort scoring at the line. 
Tongkui to Chan. It goes out of bounds. A little too strong on the pass. Very tight. Uh, could have probably waited and uh, looked for other options. It's going to be another turnover for the Black Bears. And that will be their, te uh, that will be their uh, second, by the way, here in the first half. And yesterday they had uh, 13 tur uh, turnovers in the game. So better job taking care of the basketball so far for the Black Bears. JP with a drive. Now he has four points. And uh, JP Billinson more known as a perimeter shooter. But uh, so far showing us that he can penetrate and uh, get to the rim. Sean Kui blocked inside by St. Fort. 4-3. No. St. Fort is fouled by Chong Kui. Uh, Chong Kui trying to pull a fast one there, trying to pull the arm of uh, Fort. In the first uh, period, Paula Pilipinas RPG shot 56% from the field. That's 9 out of 16. Both teams are shooting about 50% from the field in the first quarter. De La Cruz brings it across. St. Fort. Ness beyond him. And the rebound there by James Milton. James Milton trying to do what George was doing earlier, trying to pound the ball inside. Seven and a half to go. Nesby for three. Belinchon the rebound. Now, Belinchon, uh, very aggressive here in the game, scoring and rebounding and defending. We have a foul there. As you can see, uh, Chong Kui fouling this time, Brian Mecca trying to seal him and post him up so th that's going to be the second uh, uh, personal foul uh, sorry uh, could be the second should be the second personal foul on Chong Kui so the Paula Filipinas RPG coming back here down by four they were down by as many as uh, 10 points and uh, Paula Filipinas RPG it's because of uh, the aggressiveness of JP Bilinchon and that's right, and uh, a little bit of confusion here, uh, the referees. And of course, oh. us. I thought they were going to give possession to the Black Bears, but uh, <laughs> it's uh, Paul La Filipinas keeping possession. And the officials continues to talk to our table officials, the referees and the table officials. There you go. So what's the final verdict? Now we go to the Pola Pilipinas RPG side. They will maintain possession. Noi. Inside. Saint. Oh, that's uh, James Milton who misses that one. Look at the ball movement. Coney. For three, picked up by James Milton. Milton, now Coney defending. JP Belenchon. Inside we go to St. Fort. Shot clock. They will call it a foul, a steal there by Coney. That was actually a smart foul there. You do not want to let Coney get out in the break. But so far here in the second quarter, Pola Pilipinas able to outscore the Black Bears 8-2. to two. 35 to 31. We are, we are scoreless in the last, what, one and a half? Young back in the game for the Black Bears. The drive inside is a four-point lead by the Black Bears. 6:26 remaining in the first half. There is Leon. Shot clock at seven. 
A foul away from the ball. Uh, that was, I believe, Marquez trying to yeah. deny Johnson of position underneath. Leong goes out. Launches the three and he gets it from downtown. He is hot. Continuing to fire away from the outside now with 13 big points. That will be his fourth from downtown. De La Cruz working against Coney. Leon keeping an eye on J.P. Bilinchon. You know, J.P. Bilinchon, he has an awkward looking three-pointer. Marquez misses on the three. The Black Bears, they are ahead by seven points. The biggest lead was at 10 points, 38 to 31 now. But uh, so far, better showing for Paula Pilipinas, especially with the entry of Belenson. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you don't want to see that. That was just a regular scramble for the basketball, yeah, yeah. but Kone uh, not really liking the action right there. Let's see this one more time. I think it's on, uh, on Coney and uh, De La Cruz. That was actually Leung and uh, JP Bilinchon. Bilinchon. Yeah. Bilinchon, yeah. And then he, he, oh, yeah. he saw De La Cruz trying to you know, join uh, that scramble for the loose ball. Uh, nothing malicious right there, just uh, com competitors going after the basketball. Uh, so a technical foul on Coney and De La Cruz there. Double technical foul. Some heated moments there for both. And we have a substitution. Gerald Anderson in the game for, for Paula Pilipinas RPG. You know, before the double technicals, there was a jump ball called in the possession arrow pointing towards Paula Pilipinas. That's why uh, they get uh, to keep the basketball. 21 seconds remaining in the shot clock. So the, the, the referees, they're still discussing of what will be the call, I think, or what. You mentioned about the possession arrow. And I mentioned about the technical foul, so... Uh, Let's see what is the uh, final verdict on this one because we are speaking too soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're still uh, waiting for the announcement, uh, but uh, it seems like Paula Pilipinas was supposed to be inbounding the basketball, but uh, let's just wait for the official announcement. Paula so Pilip there was a technical foul, so that means there will be free throws. They're calling or is it compensating? Yeah. So there will be technical free throws. I saw the the referee signaling a free throw. Well, it's not quite clear who they called an unsportsmanlike foul to. And they did call a technical foul on the other end. It's just unclear who. Uh, I think it's uh, De La Cruz being called for an unsportsmanlike foul. That's why Leong will uh, troop to the free throw line. And then there was a technical call on uh, Kone. That's why it's just one free throw because uh, unsportsmanlike fouls, uh, you're awarded two free throws for a technical, you're awarded one. So uh, one of there the free throws, off, there was an offset. De La Cruz, don't speak <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so De La Cruz will take one at the line. Oh, two, he will take two at the line. Okay, so that probably was the other way around. Uh, they're calling the unsportsmanlike foul on the side of 
uh, on Coney and then you've got uh, the technical foul on De La Cruz. So the uh, Paula Filipinas RPG will maintain possession here. Gerald Anderson will throw it in. Warning. Yeah, for, for delaying the game. Well, a little too tight there for Leong on defending Gerald Anderson. De La Cruz. Nice move there by Melton. Able to spot the cutting Melton for the easy two. 39 to 34, Leong incoming and he will miss. Rebounded by Marquez. Here comes uh, De La Cruz. James Melton, Marquez. Gerald, one-handed shot. That's good. He likes those uh, floaters in the paint. And uh, Gerald Anderson now with a total of uh, five points. Nice shot by Gerald Anderson. Coney, the drive. Oh, that's one. That will be the first on Marquez, but Coney with a very aggressive move, seeing the space wide open. Here comes Marquez trying to stop that dunk by Coney. Well, he's been uh, trying to do that since yesterday. He tried to put someone on a poster. And uh, that time gets awarded for the aggressiveness. Gets uh, a trip to the free throw line. Now we go to uh, Andrea Veloso. She's been uh, with us uh, one minute ago. All right, Andrea. Mohamed Kone of the Black Bears didn't start playing basketball until he was on his senior year of high school, mainly because his younger brother Hassan inspired and pushed him to play. Sadly, Hassan passed away, but that didn't stop Mohamed. There was a flicker of determination in his heart, and he brought home a state championship on his senior year of high school. This is his first professional league, and as a 25-year-old player, he had a lot of doubts here and there, but he said he will just trust his game and the people that believe in him. Gentlemen. And uh, so far, he has really been uh, very entertaining to watch here oh, in the yes. Asian tournament. And uh, we're expecting a lot more from uh, Mohamed Kony. James Milton. Shot clock at four. Nice move. Here in the second half, it has been Milton coming alive for Pola Pilipinas now with a total of 10 points. 41 to 38, RPG or the uh, Polo Filipinas RPG coming back here after being scoreless for one minute and 30 seconds. Uh, kickball violation, both stays with the Black Bears. Their head coach, Kevin Connolly. We saw him earlier. Oh, look at this one. That was the foul on Marquez a moment ago. Outside shot, Johnson misses. Picked up by Mark Doligon. Three forty-five to go. Deceptively quick is uh, Mark Doligon putting on the hesitation move and just uh, accelerating and uh, getting to the basket. You know, we all we we've known this player for what the four years now. Mark Duligon, a very deceptive, uh, deceptive player. Shane Menina, free for two, can't get it a fall. James Milton with the offensive rebound and a putback. It's really pumped up here. Milton now with 12 points, most of which he scored since George has uh, taken a red. And the Pola Pilipinas RPG coming back alive here. Up by a point after that shot by James Milton, 42 to 41. You're watching the Asian Tournament here in Foshan, Guangdong, China.
So we are back here, 42 to 41. So what's going on down there? There's a little confusion. And we saw, uh, we are seeing, yeah, technical foul on the uh, Black Bears. Yeah, they already had a delay of game warning earlier on uh, Leong stepping on the uh, sideline while Anderson was inbounding the basketball. So this is the second infraction, so it's a technical. Oh, Gerald Anderson. Scoring at the line now, he has six points. Very popular in the Philippines. You're a big fan, and uh, Andrea Velosa. You're a big fan of his movies, right? No, I'm a big fan of uh, Gerald Anderson as a basketball player. <laughs> <laughs> 43 to 41 with 304 remaining. Chong Kui. Chan back to Chong Kui. Tied at 43. Oh, rebounded by Mark De Ligon. De La Cruz on the chain menina with the acceleration and the two points. And it's interesting, the Pola Pilipinas RPG are actually the team trying to push the pace here against the Black Bears. 45 to 41, two and a half remaining. By the way, our official score is 45 to 43. Shane Minina. Diana. Oh, all right, 45 41. You see right there, Mark Doligon trying to attack the basket and uh, able to fish a foul. Two points, uh, Mark Doligon, one out of two from the field, three rebounds. From uh, Arellano University, big time player. And he's been uh, a veteran player for, a veteran player for, for Pola Pilipinas RPG. And this has been a, a way better quarter for Paula Pilipinas, outscoring uh, the Black Bears 23 to 8. A 15 point turnaround. Chong Kui. Kone misses. Gerald Anderson brings it down for Paula Pilipinas RPG. Final two minutes out of first half. Shane Minina. Nesby defending. Shane fading away. Here come the Black Bears. Oh, Nesby step out of bounds. Nesby, the fourth. I think that was a uh, miscommunication between Coney uh, and Nesby. He was trying to throw uh, the alley oop right there, but Nesby un uh, unable to field it and running out of space. We have a timeout here in uh, Foshan, Guangdong, China. You're watching the Asian tournament. Ola Pilipinas RPG, they are ahead by five points, 46 to 41. And you mentioned about being tired. You mentioned about them uh, arriving uh, late here, uh, Noi. Well, I think somebody forgot to tell <laughs> the Pola Pilipinas RPG that, that they should be the team fatigued 
And so far in the first half, especially in the second quarter, they've really uh, put on the Jets and have now yes. actually overtaken the Black Bears. The Black Bears winning their first game yesterday versus Jumbo. Uh, 94 to 83. This is the second game of, of the Black Bears and the first game of Paula Filipinas RPG. Shane with a separation, yes! Shane Menina in that play just creating something out of nothing, yeah. just keeping the dribble alive, finding uh, that gap, able to score on that short jumper. 48 to 41, a minute, a minute remaining and a first half. Battle for the rebound. It goes out of bounds. Last touch. Chong Kui. Well, they haven't gone to Chan uh, for some positions already. And right when uh, you've got George already on, on the floor, that's going to be more difficult for Chan to get his baskets inside. Kony with eight points. Lau with nine. Chong Kui with six for the Black Bears. Nice move by George. But that basket will not count. It's a dribbling violation call to George. Yeah, but right now both teams already in the penalty. So any fouls will mean free throws for both teams. Sean Kui with six points. Sean, reverse. That's good. That's way better execution. They really need to set up a Chan inside where he's been, where he has been very efficient so far. The Black Bears with 20 assists in yesterday's game versus Jumbo, and they are a uh, good team in, ter in terms of passing. Noi outside shot, no goal, and the follow-up shot there by by George. He'll be the second player in double digits for them. Final. Shot of the game. That's uh, Chong Kui beating the buzzer with that three. It could be a momentum uh, swing for them coming into the second half. All right. Uh, our halftime score, 50 for uh, for the Pola Filipinas RPG, 46 for the Black Bears. We'll be right back with the third period.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back here inside the beautiful Rhino Sports Arena here in Foshan, Guangzhou, China. Sandy Grumo here with Noi Africa. Let's take a look at some numbers back in the first half. And, you know, Pola Filipinas able to come back in the uh, second quarter, uh, Noi Africa. Well, they did improve on their field goal shooting, better shot selection, and uh, it has translated in the stats. As you can see, al almost 59% from the field, only 44% for the Black Bears. Rebounding going the way of Pola Pilipinas, 25 to 23 uh, assists going the side of the Black Bears. But so far, the Black Bears have been more uh, successful when they try to run in the break. So far in this game, they have already eight fast break points against the three of uh, the Pola Pilipinas. And uh, also, you know, the turnovers, uh, Pola Pilipinas needs to be a little more careful taking care of the basketball. They've made nine turnovers and the uh, Black Bears have at, uh, been able to take advantage of that, scoring 17 points of turnovers. Our games on Monday, April 22, here in Foshan, Guangdong, China. First game will be at 2 p.m., the Ningbo Bulls versus the Mustangs. Second game will be at 4 p.m., the Valientes will take on the Dragons. The third game will be at 6 p.m., Pola Pilipinas RPG will take on Jumbo. And our last game on Monday at 8 p.m. will be the East Asia Pirates versus the Black Bears. All right, we are set to go here. The third quarter coming your way with the uh, Pilipinas ahead here. 50-46, a four-point lead for the Pola Pilipinas RPG. Let's take a look at the leading scorers back in the first half noise. Yeah, for the Black Bears, it was uh, Leung uh, leading the way in scoring already with 14 points. And you've got uh, Chong Kui already with 9. You've got Kony with 8. Well, on the other side, you've got uh, the two world imports leading the way for Pola Pilipinas in double digits. You've got Melton with 12. And then you've got George already with 11. You know, you talk about Chong Kui played for 25 minutes in yesterday's game versus Jumbo. He came off the bench and scored 22 points. Yeah, that's right, but uh, they're going to need another, that kind of performance coming from Chong Kui. It's been a big spark for them. And uh, in the game yesterday, let's see, yeah, he did end that first half with a three-pointer. That could just about be uh, a momentum swing that uh, the Black Bears could need. They were outscored 27-13 to 13 in the second quarter. They cannot afford another quarter like that here in the third. The biggest scoring one, uh, the biggest scoring run for the uh, Pola Pilipinas RPG was 12 points to close out the second period. Starting here for RPG, uh, Pilipinas will be Gerald Anderson, Shane Minina, George Melton, and uh, St. Fort. And Coney is fouled hard by just uh, James Melton. Yeah, that's right. You want... Uh, Kony to be more aggressive also yesterday it was that duo of uh, Chong Kui and Kony who uh, sparked this team to that victory as once again he's trying to posterize somebody uh, gets uh, goes to the deck but will go to the free throw line they combined for uh, 47 points in yesterday's game versus Jumbo and the line is Kony Mohammed uh, Kony Eight points here, two out of seven from the field, two assists. You know, the Black Bears in yesterday's game versus the Jumbo had 20 assists. They're sharing the ball well, but in the first half here, they had 10 assists, uh, Noy. Yeah, but, but they're on pace for that 20, but uh, they really need also those uh, three-pointers to fall in the first half. Seven out of 17, that's uh, very good against us, the three out of eight for Pola Filipinas. And you mentioned earlier about their... Uh, field goal percentage and you know they have their shots in the first half but just can't uh, it, it did not fall in not aside actually 44 percent is a, a very high field goal percentage unfortunately they were giving up much higher field goal percentage to the pola Filipina. so it's definitely going to be a defensive adjustment for coach kevin connelly 50 48 now a two-point lead for rpg the drive for the tie, and yes! Sean Kui with a hard drive inside using the glass. And uh, that's really a, a weapon that any small guard has to have, that uh, floater uh, that 
uh, the one-hander to get it up over the taller defenders inside. Leong fouled Gerald Anderson. That'll be the uh, first on Leong. That was uh, Chong Kui with a beautiful drive inside. Taking Shane Menina out of his shoes that time. Shane. Mark Duligon facing his defender. What a move! But Mark misses. And Saint fourth. The retrieval in the basket. That was just a power move right there. Once again, those offensive rebounds starting to hurt the Black Bears. Johnson. Coney misses on the three. Shane Minina setting up the table. George providing the screen. Mark drives. He drops it. And a slam dunk by George. Credit to have that basket with the penetration of the league and able to attack the defense. A slam dunk for George. Filipinas RPG up by four points. Johnson. You know, Johnson did not see much action as that three goes in for Leong. Who continues to wax hot from the outside. Leong, very hot. And this game... Six out of ten from the field here. Picked up by Mark. Shane is free. Incoming. Bang! No one just to close out on Shane Menina. They still uh, haven't uh, figured out who the shooters are for Pola Filipinas. And that was just wide open for Shane Menina. Had all day to shoot. That's uh, their head coach. You see right Kevin. there, the league on. Nobody even trying to close out. That's very late. And Shane Menina will knock that down. We heard a buzzer there. And for a while we thought we have a timeout. But it was, an, uh, it it was a wrong buzzer. <laughs> yeah, an inadvertent buzzer. So the Black Bears to within one here. 54 to 53. Chong Kui. For three. Yes! Chong Kui just really knows how to create space. Uh, that time had Shane Menina falling to the floor wide open all the time in the world to knock down that long two. I'm loving this matchup between Co uh, between Chong Kui and Shane as Shane will miss. Leong is fouled by Shane Menina. That's out of frustration after he missed that shot, uh, Noi. Yeah, but that's still uh, quite a smart foul. That's a duty foul. You do not want that uh, the Black Bears to get out in transition where they've been very effective even uh, in their first game yesterday. And uh, the Black Bears in yesterday's game versus Jumbo, they had uh, 28 fast break points. And in this game, in the first half, they had eight fast break points. Chong Kui, eluding De La Cruz. Leong with a drive, using the glass and will score. Nice move by Leong. Now going into the body of George, taking out any shot blocking ability, able to finish. And you know, now yesterday, in yesterday's game, he was cold. Now he is hot. Mark now with, now with 19 points, it's Leung. Oh, nice move by Mark Duligon. He's been missing several shots in this game. And uh, converting on his patented one-hander. Yeah. Kone, short. Gerald Anderson takes care of it. Taken away by Kone. Three on one. Nice pass and Chong Kui misses and the follow-up shot there by Leung. So what's the call there uh, for a delay of game? Well, that was a sorry miss for Melton ha had that point blank shot. So Leung with 21 big points here in this game. Taken away by Kone. Into the hands of Leong for the layup. And yes, 23 big points. No, that's that's not Leong. 
That's Chong Pong Lao. Chong Pong Lao with 11 points here. Let's take a look at this one. Noi. That's uh, Kony just uh, looking ahead and uh, Lao scoring in transition. That's 11 points for him. That's already the fourth player in double digits for the Black Bears. Time out. Both teams had all ears to the head coach in the dugout for the Paula Filipinas. Take a simple reminders from Coach JR, just, me, just be more patient offensively and communicate on their ball screens. On the other hand, for the Black Bears, they want to put more pressure on the paint, get more stops, and get that good energy to fully achieve the flow that they want this next quarter. Sandy Anoy. Thank you very much, Andre Veloso. Well, definitely for Ke Coach Kevin Connolly, it's gonna, they're going to need a lot more energy. They want to push the pace. You're hoping that uh, th the fatigue starts to set in for Pola Pilipinas. For Pola Pilipinas, you want them to just stay patient on their o offense. Milton misses inside. Duligo on the rebound. And uh, Paula Filipinas RPG turned the ball over. Well, let's see how the second group of uh, Paula Filipinas can uh, bring in a spark, the spark that they uh, brought in in the second quarter. Back in the game is JP Bilinchon, who scored four points in the first half. We have a timeout here with the Black Bears ahead. 62 to 56. You're watching the Asian tournament. Kevin Connolly there, the head coach of the Black Bears. Coming back here in the third period, Noy, and that's J.R. Kawaling, former RP or Gilas Pilipinas member back in 2008. That's the uh, national team he played for in the Philippines. 62 to 56. And it's uh, Black Bears basketball here. Well, so far here uh, in the second uh, half, uh, the Black Bears have been able to outscore uh, Pola Pilipinas 16 to 6, uh, a 10 point turnaround, and now they're up by 6. So, what's going on down there? That's J.R. Kawaling talking to the referees. Uh, do we have a timeout here? Both coaches uh, talking to their players. We can't seem to figure out uh, what they're trying to sort out right now. So we don't so yeah, we don't have a timeout here. 
but uh, those uh, the two coaches are talking to to their uh, players right Pola now. Filipinas RPG making his debut here in the Asian tournament while for the Black Bears this is their second game they defeated Jumbo yesterday 93 or 94 to uh, 83 well, at this stage, you know, Pola Filipinas, uh, uh, what's important for them is to make the necessary adjustments. So far, Chong Kui has been, Chong Kui has been somebody uh, they can't stop one-on-one -on, -one on ball. And uh, that's really the main adjustment. And uh, for the Black Bears, they, got to, they really need to involve Kone uh, back into their offense. Uh, that explosiveness, the ability to score from the outside, the ability to... Uh, put the ball on the floor and pen it, it really going to be very important for them you know in the uh, first half it was uh, Lyon who top scored for for the uh, Black Bears with 14 points now we have four players in double figures for the Black Bears yeah, that's right and uh, Lyon just continuing to be very impressive in this ball game leading the way with 21 big points yeah, Chong Kui with 14 points coming off the bench. Lau with 11. Uh, Kony with 10. 4.45 remaining. Inside, Johnson scores on a pass from Chong Kui. That's going to be the first two points of uh, D'Angelo Johnson. Uh, it's hard to believe that he is a guy you're going to miss and be wide open underneath. George inside to James Milton. Uh, same two points, uh, a layup inside, great execution that time for Pola Pilipinas. Chong Kui, De La Cruz defending, Chong Kui, oh, he puts De La Cruz in a torture chamber. Well, they really need someone to be able to keep in step uh, with Chong Kui. So far, there has been not, no one on that uh, roster of Pola able to keep up with him. And the steal by D'Angelo Johnson, he will not score on the layup. Rebounded by J.P. Belenchon. Oh, that's De La Cruz, I'm sorry. Here is J.P. incoming, and he will not score. Rebounded by Kone. Chonkui with an easy two. <laughs> Chonkui that time rewarded for cherry picking. Uh, easy two points for him. Now 18 points for Damien Chonkui. And the Black Bears ahead now by 10. Mark goes inside for two. A very easy penetration for the league and able to use his body to protect the basketball. Nothing Johnson could do. Sean Kui, Johnson, Leong incoming and it's way off the target. But he's been very efficient from the three-point line. I think he's missed only twice in this ball game. Three minutes and 13 seconds remaining and the third uh, period. This is the first game here and Paula Filipinas RPG turned the ball over. Of course we're gonna have uh, this is the first of a quadruple header that we'll be having here so you're stuck with the voice of uh, Sandy Grumo and myself for the, <laughs> the rest of the day. Yes. Chonkui, De La Cruz defending. Oh, what a move. Chongqui again damaging the brain waves of De La Cruz. <laughs> and Chongqui even scoring over the taller defenders. That floater has been very effective oh, in yes. this ball game. JP Bill and Sean with the ball fake. Nice move by JP. His third field goal of the game. Coney is fouled on his way to the basket. You know, J.P. Belenson may not be the fastest of players, but uh, he can easily change direction and that shiftiness allowing him to get to the basket. I uh, see right there that ball fake freeing uh, and uh, freeing himself up and uh, finishing with that uh, layup. And Mohamed Kony now at the uh, free throw line. A good player, a good acquisition for the Black Bears. From the United States. Uh, He's a uh, very good free throw shooter so far in the ball game. Uh, six out of six yesterday. He went nine out of ten. 
Oh, it serves you good because you, you didn't mention that before he took that shot. Oh, yeah, I had to make <laughs> sure. <laughs> the drop pass. Milton unable to slam it home. He gets it back way off the target. A 10-point lead for the Black Bears. De La Cruz incoming, and he will not score. Picked up by Chong Kui. Chong Kui is free for two. Got it! Right now, Chong Kui is in the zone, in rhythm, jumper right there. Already with 22 points, leads his team, the Black Bears. He is unstoppable here, especially in the mid-range area. De La Cruz misfires. Now the Filipinos RPG, they're, they've been missing their shots. The three, no. A minute 19 remaining in the third. The Black Bears back to their biggest lead at 12, 74 to 62. Here is Marquez for three, yes. It rattles in. Well, that's something that they're going to need someone from the bench to help them, you know, traveling and uh, just arriving this morning. Your fatigue will <laughs> definitely be setting in for them. Uh, the three point field goes at uh, now the 10th three pointer made for the Black Bears. That's that uh, that you've uh, seen a moment ago was. And we go now to this game. Marquez. For three. Yes. That's Saint fourth. That's a good sign for Pola Pilipinas hitting on back to back threes, but they're gonna have to make stops on the other end. Yeah. 77-68. Ten seconds remaining in the third. Chong Kui with the ball. De La Cruz on him. He fades away. Picked up. Oh, Leong scores! And look at that chicken dance there by Coney. <laughs> 79 for the Black Bears, 68 for the Polo Filipinas RPG. Let's take a look at this replay. Leong, the retrieval and the basket. We'll be right back with the fourth and final quarter. You're watching the Asian Tournament. We are back here, the start of the fourth uh, period. And the Black Bears, they are ahead here. Noi, 79 to 68. So it was a different different story in the third quarter. This time, it's the Black Bears outscoring Pola Pilipinas 33 to 18. And now for Pola Pilipinas, you're going to have to wonder, are there, uh, do they still have any fuel left in that tank? Bench points, uh, the Black Bears scoring 27, while Paula Filipinas RPG 22. You see right there, Johnson uh, trying to fight for uh, that defensive rebound. 
you know, fast break points favoring the Black Bears. 16 fast break points compared to the three of uh, the Filipinas RPG picked up by Marquez. Seventy nine sixty eight. James Melton. Shot clock expired. And that's something you do not want to see at this stage for Apollo Filipinas, not even getting a decent shot up. Twenty four second violation ball goes back to the Black Bears. If we take a look at the free throw shooting for both teams, the Black Bears they are perfect from the line. Nine out of nine shooting. Nesby Tony Marquez misses on the three rebounded by Nesby here is Chong Kui Chong Kui with a drive inside and it's going to be uh, Filipinas basketball and that's really the imperative right now for Pola Filipinas who will stop and uh, keep in step with Chong Kui uh, that time uh, he, you know he's very able, quick able to stop with the help is uh, St. Fort the Black Bears shooting 50% uh, from the field RPG Filipinas shooting 54% from the field JP for three, can't get it a fall. Chong Kui, Nesby, Bilinchon on him. Foul is called on JP Bilinchon. No, Tyrone Nesby trying to be more aggressive so far. Only yeah. has uh, two points for them, but uh, he knows that you know moving forward they're they're gonna need a lot more weapons and being able to activate uh, Tyrone Nesby will make this uh, rotation of the Black Bears even deeper. Well, he did not play ye in yesterday's game versus Jumbo. He just arrived uh, earlier this morning. He is also a world import for... It's actually an Asian import. The Asian import for, for the Black Bears. This is the fourth and final quarter. And it's been an entertaining... Uh, ball game. It's been back and forth. The uh, the Black Bears led by as many as 12. The Filipinas uh, RPG led by as many as 7. But now the Black Bears ahead big time. 81 to 68. Gerald misses and the putback by James Melton. And you see James Melton still continuing to do what he does best. Attack that offensive glass. Seven and a half to go. Chong Kui. For three. No. And rebounded by St. Fort. Minina. Will not score from beyond the arc. That three ball that's not falling for uh, Pola Pilipinas here. And I think they should start attacking the basket. Still a manageable 11 point uh, disadvantage. Johnson drives. Two points for him. It's only the second field goal for uh, D'Angelo Johnson, but uh, he's been very important, more valuable on the defensive end. Intercepted there by Chan. Coney slaps it home. Up high and down hard. Finally getting his highlight. He's been trying to posterize everyone in the paint this time, finishing with that uh, sick two-handed jam. The lead is 15 now. George getting closer to the basket. Nice defense there by Johnson. We haven't heard much from George. Chonkwe with a layup, unmolested. But we've been hearing so much from Chonkwe. He's now leading his team in scoring with 27. The Black Bears in total control here in the fourth quarter, 87 to 70. And let's take a look at this. Slam dunk by Mohamed Kony. Up high and down hard. Back in a moment.
All right, we are back here with uh, six minutes and 28 seconds to go. The Black Bears with a 17-point lead here, Noy. Yeah, and so far they've really exploded in the second half. Already 41 points for them, only 24 uh, Pola Pilipinas. So the energy way better for the Black Bears in the second half. Up next, we have Jambo versus the East Asia Pirates. They will be seeing action for the first time here in the Asian Tournament. Pressure being put up by the Black Bears. And it doesn't seem like they're the team ahead as they're still showing a lot of energy, putting pressure on the backcourt. Gerald Anderson for three, way off. Johnson takes care of it. Easy two for Chan. And right now you're seeing uh, very tired legs for the team in white. Oh uh, yeah. As the Black Bears have been uh, just uh, gotten out in transition here, especially in the fourth quarter. Five minutes and 50 to go, Mark Duligon. He is fouled by Nesby. He gets uh, clipped in the arm. A substitution here, De La Cruz comes in for Shane Menina. By the way, leading us through this traffic is none other than the one and only Nori Ui. Thank you very much. A 19-point lead. Five forty-six remaining. Mark Duligon. You know he's undoubtedly one of the leaders of uh, this Pola Filipina squad, but uh, he's gonna have to produce more on the floor. It's not about you know being that emotional, that psychological leader on the floor. He's gonna need to also produce to help Pola Pilipinas in this tournament. Well, I think he is the one. He is the leader of this team. 4-3. Oh, yes! Mohamed Kony from downtown. And with Kony joining the scoring parade now, this is going wow. to be a difficult task for Pola Pilipinas to come back from uh, 21 points down. A barrage of threes by the Black Bears in this game as De La Cruz will score. 92 to 73. Oh! A special delivery from the sky, Nesby with a slam. That play coming out of nowhere, Kone just uh, pushing the basketball, finding Nesby for that easy uh, finish. Here come the Black Bears, three on one, Johnson. Oh no, Johnson will score. <laughs> but you gotta love that athleticism oh, of yes. Kone, able to give a controlled tip back to Johnson for the easy two. Mark Doligon, Nesby, keeping an eye on him. Mark and uh, George is fouled from behind. You like how Mark Doligon can play the point guard for them at times, able to get into the seams of the defense, able to find uh, Johnson inside. Up next, though, that's the dunk of uh, Coney, or that's uh, Nesby, by the way. 96 to 73 up next the East Asia Pirates will see action for the first time here in the Asian tournament and uh, they will be up against Jumbo East Sea Pirates yeah East Sea Pirates George with 13.6 out of 9 from the from the field but uh, very quiet since uh, the first uh, quarter it has really been a non-factor in the second half. Four minutes and 19 seconds remaining in the fourth. Sean Kui. The Angelo Johnson. Shot clock reads at seven. Foul is cold. You know, the Angelo Johnson not really a heavy scorer. Uh, yesterday finished with a double-double. 14 points, 13 rebounds. But going up against uh, bigger guys like George and uh, Milton. Uh, really had to work harder. The Angelo Johnson at the free throw line.
Again, coming up next, East Sea Pirates will take on Jumbo. East Sea Pirates will be playing for the first time here in the Asian Tournament. Mark Duligon, that's what you're talking about. Yeah, but a little, uh, might be a little too late, but uh, Mark well, Plenty Duligon. of time remaining. We still have four minutes or three minutes and 50 seconds. Chongqui misses on the three. Doligon draws the double. Intercepted by Chongqui. And, and Chongqui now with 29 big points. He scored 22 in yesterday's game versus Jumbo. And uh, Mark Doligon will be called for a foul pushing off on uh, Chongqui. Chongqui has really been uh, the headache for them yeah. in this ball game. There's nobody keeping in step with them. As you can see here, Mark Doligon just with a <laughs> powerful nudge on uh, Chongqui. 99 to 75. The Black Bears, if they will score, they will be the first one uh, here in the Asian tournament, the first team to score over 100 or to score 100 points again coming up next East Sea Pirates will take on the uh, Jumbo team who lost in yesterday's game versus the Black Bears a platoon substitution for coach Kevin Connolly so you've got uh, a lot of new players now on the floor it's the drive inside no points no connection there By Chan. Gerald. Marquez misses on the three. This is actually an opportunity for Pola Filipinas to make some sort of run with uh, the Black Bears already emptying their bench. Yes. Two minutes and 49 to go. The Black Bears turn the ball over. Marquez with the ball. Anderson for three. That was Scott to. He's playing for the first time in this game. I'm talking about this guy, Scott. The three won't work for Cheng. Dara Cruz. Two minutes and ten seconds remaining. Well, it seems like uh, that uh, the, tra the travel uh, difficulties for Pola Filipinas eventually catching up to them in the second half. Scott from downtown. So there's more than enough time for uh, Pola Filipinas to get, regain their bearings. They still get to play two games here in the group phase. And hopefully they get enough rest and uh, come out with better energy. 102 to 75. Uh, the Black Bears, the first team to score over 100 points here in the Asian tournament. A minute 37 to go. We have a pushing foul call. And that foul will be called on... Uh, K. Long Yong yesterday finished with uh, three points. Uh, today that got, didn't really get a lot of minutes. Gerald Anderson scores from the corner. And that basket for Anderson puts him in double digits now with 10. We are just waiting for the official buzzer here. But it seems that the Black Bears will go home with another W. They're second here in the Asian tournament. And uh, will currently lead Group A at 2-0. and The Jumbo at 0-1. And, and Pola Filipinas will drop to 0-1. De La Cruz scores this time from downtown. And uh, De La Cruz showing that he can put points on the board very quickly. Coming off the bench now with 12. 102 to 80 is the count. This steal by Gerald. 
Anderson will score. Anderson with 12 points. This will be very valuable minutes for the bench of the Black Bears. Ooh. Moving forward, you're going to need a deeper bench. You're going to need more players, especially in a short tournament where fatigue could be a factor. Zeng was able to score a moment ago. Here is Zeng. Three if it goes in, and it does not. Gerald Anderson. 4-3. No. A foul is called on Marquez. I like how Paula Filipina is still uh, trying to compete, trying to go after those basketballs, but uh, really just a story of uh, fatigue for them. The second half was uh, really uh, a black bear show. They've already scored 58 points in the second half. 13 seconds remaining. We have a foul. It's going to be a number one or zero. Is it zero or one? So Scott will go to the free throw line. And Marquez in very limited minutes already with three personal fouls, but uh, that won't matter anymore with only 12 seconds remaining. Uh, yet again, uh, a very impressive showing for the Black Bears. This time it's the turn of uh, Leung, and then uh, you've got uh, Chong Kui still continuing to produce for them, and uh, Kony finishing with 17. So a three headed monster, uh, a little too much for Pola Filipinas. With 2.1 to go, it is very safe to say this is a W for the Black Bears. 105 to 82, that's our final score. So the uh, Black Bears will go home with another win, their second here in the Asian uh, tournament. What a game by Sean Kui, Kony, and for the rest of the Black Bears. Nesby rises up for the dunk. Good play there. And Coney with a beautiful feed to Nesby. That's our play of the game here in the Asian tournament. Nice play there by the Black Bears. And of course, uh, the Black Bears will improve to 2-0. And, oh, and uh, we have uh, chosen uh, the best player of the game. Uh, it's definitely uh, Damien Chongqui. Uh, he's he was really a problem all game long for the Pola Filipinas uh, RPG. Just nobody could stop him finishing with uh, 29 points. And uh, that three-pointer to end the first half, I believe, was the momentum changer. And uh, they just came out in the second half and dominated Pola Filipinas. Final score is 105 to 82. And uh, we are waiting for the uh, uh, our uh, best player of the game, by the way, is uh, Chong Kui. Now we have Andrea Veloso. The game, Damian Chong Kui. So, Damian, on the first half, you guys are struggling. So, how did you recover and get the win eventually? Uh, just being more active defensively and pushing the pace. We got a fast team, so just trying to speed the game up. We were able to get stops and get easy buckets. Damien, we're going to see each other again on Monday. How do you plan to prepare for that one? Uh, pretty much the same mindset. You know, we don't really have a scout on different teams the first tournament. So just playing our game and making teams adjust at our pace and the way we play. Okay, Damien, this is your chance to greet your loved ones back at home. This is the chance to what? To greet someone, your fans, your loved ones back at home. Um, appreciate the support. I know what's up. Once again, our best player of the game, Damian Chonkley from the Black Bears. Back to you guys. Thank you very much, Andre Veloso and Noy Africa. Thank you very much. My name is Sandy Gruen from the Rhino Sports Arena here in uh, Foshan, Guangdong, China. Thank you for watching the Asian Tournament. Hang on for our next game.
mag-sold rin siya nito. Pag nagre-re-re-re.